Welcome back guys. In this new lecture, we'll be understanding about how do we create a new table inside our database using the GUI interface provided by SQL Developer. Now, in the last lesson, we understood about how do we navigate the tables and other database objects. But what I did is I actually closed my SQL Developer session. So now I just started this SQL Developer fresh. You can see we have this welcome page so that means it is just started now when you start sql developer you will see that these database connection information will be automatically stored inside the sql developer so every time when you connect to the sql developer you don't need to provide all the details that we provided in order to create this connection information so this connection information is already stored in sql developer so what you can do is if you just double click the HR, because it's a fresh session, it will ask you to enter the password again. Otherwise it won't allow you to connect because this is security issue, right? Someone might have access to your system and they might just double click and access the database. So every time when you create a fresh connection with SQL developer to your database, it will always ask you for a password. So let me give the password and I think it will connect now. Now, do you see this icon? This is only database. There is no plug icon. You will, you will just see it once the connection is done. It will change to small plug will appear over there. You can see it right now, correct? This plug sign I was saying. That means we are connected to the database, right? Now that we have to create a new table, I won't create a new table in the HR schema. I would rather create a new table in the AKS Golu schema. So just to make the things complex for you, let me connect to the AKS Golu schema. So what I'll do is double click the connection name and it will ask me for the schema password. And there you go. So now it's trying to connect to the database. And anytime you want to understand what's happening inside the SQL developer, you can see over here, something is running, nothing but the connection query is running. And now you can see we are also connected to the AKS Golu at the rate test DB database can you see now i have two worksheets like if i want to run queries against aks golu i will be using this worksheet and if i want to run queries against hr at the test db i'll be using this worksheet but that does not mean you cannot use to run the queries from one sql worksheet onto another uh, schema you can definitely do that I'll show you one example so for example select star from tab now this is the query we use to get the list of tables that is owned by the HR schema we can see these are the tables that are owned by the HR schema right now what I'll do is I want to run the same query on the AKS Golu schema so in this worksheet, can you see, this is where you can change the connection. Now I will run this against the AKS Golu at the rate test DB. Now let me run this one. And there you go. Now we see no tables inside this AKS Golu schema. So it's not important like you run the queries onto separate worksheet. You can also use same worksheet, but then you'll have to be very careful where you are running the query. Now I always love to keep it separate because it's easy to administer all right so now in the AKS Golu schema I am on to this AKS Golu schema if you want to create table you can definitely use the create table command over here and that will create the table but our goal is to understand how do we create a table with the SQL developer GUI interface so on this tables what you need to do is just right click and then can you see new table now this will allow you to create a new table you can give the table name I'll give it as students I think students that's the table we are creating and this is where you create the columns what is your column name the first column name is uh, student ID and then it will be a number Oh, what is the size of the column I think uh, we'll go with a four digit number and it's a not null column we don't want uh, it to be not null or technically we don't want it to be null 
and then click on this plus button that means the first column has been added then go with the second column uh, first name this will be varchar 2 and then 20 it can be null and then I'll click on plus and then it will be last name and then the same size 20 varchar 2 but it will be not null that means we need to have a last name and let us add one more column called as um, standard or maybe I'll use class which class or the uh, standard the student is studying and that will again be varchar 2 I don't think we need 20 we can say like 5 characters and a student cannot be a student if he or she is not assigned to a class so that means this column will also be not null right and then if you click on this DDL button you can see the exact statement that will be run against the database that means of course this is a GUI interface but technically it's a DDL statement that we are running onto the database so now what I'll do is I'll just click on OK now we see that the table has been created but where do we see okay we actually don't see it so what you need to do is click on this plus button and then you can see this students table so now that I have clicked on the student tables the student table will open you can see we have all the columns and then what we'll do is we'll get inside the data now this is where you can actually add records with the GUI interface into your table now once we are on the data tab you can see there are no records inside the table what you can do is you can click on this plus button to add new records into the table so I'll quickly add a couple of records into the table just for the test purpose so the student ID is 1001 name is John Doe and he is in the fifth standard and then I'll add another row uh, it is 1002 uh, Mukesh saying and what I'll do is I'll try to not put the last name in this record and then class is he is into uh, fourth standard okay what what did I put it should be I V right fourth standard right and then now that you have entered the records, it does not mean that it has been saved inside the database because in SQL, whenever we add some data, we commit those changes to the database. The same way, even if you are using the GUI interface, you have this option called as, can you see, commit changes and then you have rollback changes. So click on this button and then we should see an error. So what is the error? So you can see this one, the first one, I think this is inside the database because there is no error in this first record but in the second record there is an error we did not put the last name and it says cannot insert null into this table uh, because cannot insert null into AKS Golu student last name because we have that constraint over here. So what we'll do is we'll add some value over here Mukesh Singh. You can also use this pencil icon if you click on this one if you want to input a big value you can put it over here and just click on OK. Now what I'll do is I'll click on commit changes and this must work. Can you see? Commit successful. Perfect. Now we have this data inside the table. So what I'll do is now I'm going to the AKS Golu worksheet. This is the worksheet and this is where I'll manually query the database. So select star from students highlight this one click on this and I will hide this message so what it says the table does not exist looks like I made a mistake in the table name so I'll give the same name as T I D E N T S okay what's that name click on this icon and now we should see the data from our table can you see it so this way you can actually create a new table inside the database you can add records inside the table you can add constraints inside the table and more importantly you can even edit the constraints if you remember I showed you already so if you open this table 
or let me close it for you now. So if you click on this table name, it will open the table over here in the SQL developer in a separate tab. Just click on constraints. This is where you click on constraints. And inside the constraints, you have this edit button, right? So you can use this edit button to edit your constraints, whether you want uh, last name to be null or not null. So I would say like, I want to allow last name also to be null, which is technically not possible, but that's okay. For example purpose, perfect. And then you click on the constraints. This is where you can add constraints, edit constraints on a table. This is where you can add or edit the indexes on a table. So the same way you have a lot more options in SQL Developer that makes your life very easy. Great guys, so in this lecture we understood a lot more details about the SQL Developer, SQL Developer GUI interface. That's it for now and I'll see you in the next lecture.